Hello and welcome to the 2018 Grenke Chess Tournament, the Grenke Chess Open and the Grenke Chess Pl uh, Classic. You can see the playing hall right behind me there, the Schwarzwaldhalle, here in Karlsruhe. And uh, what you cannot see, but the player hotel is right next to me. It's literally just a 30 second walk. Um, by this, at this point, I think you will have seen quite a lot of impressions, videos, some player interviews. Uh, but we figured let's do something new and I'm going to take you on a walk with me to show you what's going on behind the scenes and give you an impression of what things look like here on site. So let's go! So first stop here in the entry hall. Uh, at this point, once you've reached here, you know you're in the right place because you can see a big poster of world champion Magnus Carlsen in the background. Uh, you will see more place, uh, posters throughout the venue, some fantastic, uh, fantastic big posters in the playing hall, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, but here is the first stop. And once you're here, the next stop will be the service point. So let's go there. Lovely Petra, uh, who is the big boss of the service point. Uh, this is where you first get uh, to sign up for the tournament, and once the tournament is underway, it's also where you give your results. So once uh, you finish your game, this is where you give your results. Uh, this is where you get all your information from. If you have any question, any comment, if you need help, uh, you're gonna come here, and all these lovely people will be here to help you out. And then uh, right next to us, of course, is the playing hall. Um, I can't, I won't be able to talk very much in there, but we're gonna go in there and very quietly have a look around. I advise you to look up at the ceiling, at the amazing posters. I've never seen anything like it. Um, once again, you probably know it by now, but 1,500 players almost are playing here, which is a new record. Um, the atmosphere is fantastic. So let's go and have a look inside the playing hall. show you how to even find your board so let's go to the pairings uh, the pairings boards before we get to the pairings uh, another thing I can show you is this fantastic uh, horse made ca carved out of wood here uh, this horse will be uh, there will be a tombola on the uh, during the closing ceremony and all the money that will have uh, been donated by the people who are in the tombola will go to the cause uh, Checkmate Cancer. You can find out more about that uh, on our YouTube channel. We've interviewed young Lucas who's behind this fantastic initiative and I encourage you all to have a look at it because uh, he's only 13 but all the work he's done uh, I was very very impressed. So do have a look uh, at his interview but also at his Facebook page. So now if you wonder, usually uh, most tournaments if you look at the pairings, you'll just look them up online. Um, but here it's very tricky because there are 600, 700 boards in total, although they are spread across three tournaments. So how do you find yourselves? Um, well, this is how, I'll show you. So 
So we're now uh, just in front of the, the results board and the pairings board. So basically you come here, this is the board for the A group um, so, and the pairings are done uh, alphabetically. Otherwise it would be very, very tricky to find yourselves. And um, so who are you? You'll just look at your name and it will say which board you're playing, which color and against which opponent. And now we're gonna get uh, to a very important place in every tournament. It's the bar, of course, where you can get refreshments, you can get some energy, you can have some cakes, some lovely cakes. So let's go and check them out. So here we are at the, the tournament bar. As I mentioned before, uh, you can eat and drink here throughout the day. Um, which is very important because uh, you can play up to 10 hours per day so it's important to both uh, stay hydrated but also you know keep the level energy levels up maybe have a bit of chocolate which I like to do personally uh, you have a big selection of cakes uh, you can get a muffin you can get a donut so anything you want really also a uh, warm food is served throughout the day so anything you want Now we're going to continue this way, along this corridor. Um, I'll tell you very briefly what we're going to see. We're going to first of all see uh, the analysis area, where players can go through their games uh, once they are finished. After that we're going to get uh, to the newly opened uh, VIP area, uh, where people can just have a look at the game uh, in peace and quiet, but they can also get refreshments, we'll show you that in a second. And then finally, at the end of this corridor, is the second playing hall, because where we just came from, that is only the, the first part of the tournament, 1,500 players is a lot, uh, a lot of people, so there is a second playing hall, which is almost as big as the first one, but let's go and check it out. in the analysis area uh, you can see the players behind me going through their games uh, everyone you can see here is has either finished their games already or is not playing you're not allowed to come here one uh, while your games are still under progress obviously and yeah, players are analyzing it's a very convivial area some players will bring their snacks uh, but it's just very nice to go through the game uh, with your opponent afterwards see what you missed see what maybe they saw that you didn't and uh, yeah, you can see, if you look around, I think one of the nice things is that there is a very big mix of people here, young, old, women, men, people from many, many different countries, uh, just enjoying a good time over a game of chess or an analysis. now and let's go uh, to this new area I just mentioned, the VIP area. So here we are, you can see the VIP area right behind me, uh, but I think I'm going to improvise a little bit now, because if we turn towards my right just a little bit, uh, you will see something which is very fun uh, here at the Granke tournament, is you get a photo opportunity. And usually there's a big queue of people waiting to get their uh, photos taken, but I just noticed this is the first time that there's nobody there, so let's see. Uh, if I can go and get a photo of myself playing against Magnus Carlsen. So we're here at the photo booth where you can get a photo opportunity, a virtual photo opportunity with world champion Magnus Carlsen and I think uh, maybe you're the right person to tell us a bit more about how how this works and what it is you do. Sure. We are having this photo booth here and we have the blue screen. So we take 
the visitors, they can sit and play chess against the world champion. As you can see here, we have the live view. And after we have the live view, we're just taking a picture and it's coming up in Photoshop and then I virtually put it against Magnus. Okay, so can I get a photo? Yes. I will try to play against Magnus Carlsen. Yes, go for it. <laughs> What do you do? You make like a. You can either play it or just think really, like really hard. hard. Okay, yeah. let's do this, Magnus. Okay, but put down your right hand like under the table. You can use the left one. Like this. Yes. Three, two, one. No, never mind. One, I don't two, know three. if this is my game phase. <laughs> <laughs> my thinking. Put my thinking cap on. One second. Yeah. <laughs> you were like just finishing, so I have to like set it up again. Okay, let's try it. Three, two, one. This is as serious as you will see me all week, guys. <laughs> Was that okay? Yeah. So let's go and see the result. Serious face. Thank you very much. So there we go. All that's left for me to do now is get my Magnus autograph. <laughs> And thank you very much to these guys uh, for reopening just for us and giving us the opportunity uh, to do this. I think we've seen many, I've seen many very happy people uh, here coming from your booth. I'm glad to hear that. So uh, thank you very much for You're your welcome. work and hopefully see you next year. See you next year. Have a great thank evening. You. Bye. There you go. This is the result. <laughs> okay, see you. Here we are. Uh, I just said, let's see if we can get some snacks. We can get some snacks. But what we can also do here is hear the expert commentary uh, from Grandmaster Sebastian Siebrecht, who is commentating for our VIP guests here in Karlsruhe. So let's go a bit closer and see what Sebastian has to say about the games. Vielleicht kommt auch gleich nach H3. Ja, nicht gezogen. Die Weltrangisten erste. König gesiebt. Okay, König gesiebt. Das nimmt schon mal hier aus der harten Diagonale die Gefahr raus, dass der Springer hier nicht mehr schlagen kann. Okay, so I found my first victim. Uh, I'm here with international master Nicolas Lubbe. Um, Nicolas, it's the first time I'm actually seeing you during the tournament. So tell us how's the tournament going and how are you enjoying it? Oh, it's a pretty tough tournament to round today. Um, it's going okay, I would say. Today I drew two games, that was not very nice. But yeah, it's, it's not so bad. That's okay. You are playing here with your wife uh, Melanie, who is also a very strong chess player. Uh, so tell us, how is it going to tournaments uh, together? Uh, normally we use it as vacation, but if you have two rounds a day and um, every day one of us plays five hours, so um, it's not much of a vacation. 
And final question, uh, you were doing commentary together with Melanie uh, on the candidates tournament mm -hmm. just as of uh, last week. So how is it to be back at the chess board to play yourself? It's different. It's, it's very different. Uh, you, you don't start to sweat if you do commentary, <laughs> but if you're over the board, it's... Uh, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much uh, for your thoughts and best of luck for tomorrow. I've just spotted at the back of the room uh, my lovely colleague Eric van Riem. So let's go and get his impressions uh, on the tournament, on what's going on today and on what it feels like to be working with me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello now. Good you? to see you. So Eric is usually the other guy behind the camera who you cannot see, who is doing the player interviews, who is doing the daily recap videos with Peter. A lot of hard work. You've been working at this event for a few years. This year um, it's bigger than before. We have this lovely VIP area. How are you enjoying it this oh. year? Oh, as always it's very good. It's even bigger, as you said, than, than last year and the previous years. And, uh, it's actually wonderful and we have this beautiful VIP lounge here yeah. with some food and some drinks for, uh, for the people and some great commentary and uh, that's just fantastic. It's getting better every year, I think. Absolutely. And I think we're very lucky. We have a great media team. Absolutely. If I do say so myself. Yeah. <laughs> but we've did so many fantastic videos yeah. and got a lot of uh, very good feedback also from worldwide. So Kudos to the guy who's behind the camera who you cannot see right now. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but Jonathan and uh, Fabian are producing some uh, really high quality um, videos. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Head there to check them out. And thank you for your fantastic work. Uh, it's a pleasure working with Eric and with Georgie, who is not to, nowhere to be seen, uh, but our big boss of the media team. And follow, them, follow us, and follow the tournament on Twitter. Twitter. Rank it chess. Absolutely. Eric is also in charge, uh, doing some fantastic work there as well. So follow the account. Also follow Eric uh, on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and Georgios. Follow us all. Follow us all. <laughs> <laughs> follow us all. For now, thank you very much, Eric, You're for this. I'm going to get some quick chocolates now um, because I've had one before and they are very, very tasty. So let's do that. And then we're going to go next door uh, where the official official uh, commentary room is for the big public uh, with commentary by Grandmaster Klaus Bischoff. So let's go. Here we go. Two chocolates. Let's go. So we are now uh, just outside the commentary room. We are going to go inside there, but once again, like in the playing hall, I'm going to be very quiet in here because it is somewhat more official and I think people want to, to enjoy uh, the excellent commentary by Klaus rather than hear me telling you what's going on. So let's go in there and I'll be very quiet. Also da, hier geht gar nichts mehr. Ne? Also H4 hilft nicht und ich fürchte, andere Sachen helfen auch nicht. Also, hm? Matt ist noch nicht. Ja, vielleicht haben Sie recht. Ich mache trotzdem mal so. Sieht, der Patzer im Schach gibt das auch. So viele Schritte nach. Gut, ich gehe zu, ich habe den Bad. Okay, let's go. The last stop of today will be uh, the second playing hall, uh, where most players from the BNC tournaments are playing. So let's go and check that out. And I think we're probably being told that Levon has just finished now. Okay, so okay, I think we're going to 
go in there for half a second just to show you what it looks like and then we're gonna have to go because Levan Aronian just won his game and we're gonna interview him so let's do it very quickly. So here we are at the final stop of today's tour it's the playing hall where all the other people who aren't in the first one are playing so most uh, players from the B and C tournaments but also the last boards of the A group um, once again great playing conditions a lot of space for everyone a lot of natural light as a chess player myself I know that natural light um, is so much better when you're playing than spotlight so um, I would be very too happy to be playing here myself if it wasn't for the double rounds uh, but that concludes today's tour. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this look behind the scenes at the Grenke tournaments here. And uh, we'll see you very soon with a lot more videos. Mm -hmm.